Welcome to The Know, I'm Meg Turney. I'm Ryan Haywood. If you've ever watched the horrendous Super Mario Bros. movie and thought the world could use more of that, you're in luck. Yeah, Nintendo is officially getting into the film business with their first picture coming sooner than you'd think uh. or like. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've said that before. Mm. This news comes from an interview between Nintendo President Tatsumi Kimishima and Japanese news publication The Asahi Shimbun. Speaking about the company's silver screen future, Kimishima said that Nintendo is currently in talks with a number of production companies around the world to start a full-fledged movie-making partnership. Oh, that's what they've been spending all their time doing instead of releasing Wii U games. Yeah, mm. or, you know, maybe that's why they're not going to E3. Mm. While Nintendo is looking for a global partner for its film business, Kimishima did indicate the company wants to to keep most of production in house, saying we want to do as much as we can by ourselves. Oh man, everybody wants to be Marvel. Uh, if true. the idea of Nintendo getting into movies gets you your master sword swinging, yeah. hey, hey, swing, swing, swing. You'll probably be happy to hear that they've said they want the first one out in two to three years, aiming for 2018 or 2019. So, it officially takes half as much time to make a Zelda movie than it does to make a new Zelda game. Also, RIP Zelda Netflix series. I wish you were real. Hmm. Kimishima didn't say which popular franchises would get the Hollywood treatment first, but Asahi indicated that uh, signs point to either a Mario or Legend of Zelda 3D animated movie. For Nintendo, getting into film production is about increasing the audience of, for their uh, popular video game franchises by creating movies starring the characters we all already know and love. Which, considering the size of franchises like Mario and Zelda, hmm, may not be all that necessary. Ah, uh, yeah, you know another way to grow your audience, Nintendo? Video games. Boom! Release boom, some more! Boom! This isn't the first time Nintendo has talked about wanting to get back into movies. <laughs> they briefly hid their plans inside last year's June financial earnings, reporting they'd take a more active approach to using their characters outside the video game business. Really, it comes down to Nintendo considering themselves an entertainment company more than they consider themselves a gaming company. Which makes sense lately. For decades before they entered the gaming business in the 70s, they were a card company and a toy company. Video games is is what people most often associate with them, but historically speaking, it hasn't always been their core business. Miyamoto even said as much in an interview with Fortune last fall, stating, as we look more broadly at what is Nintendo's role as an entertainment company, we're starting to think more about how movies can fit in with that. And we'll potentially be looking at things like movies in the future. In the past, most of Nintendo's film dabbling has been relegated to licensing its characters to appear in other films, like Bowser appearing in Wreck-It Ralph or Donkey Kong and Mario showing up in Pixels. Mm. Wow, bad call there. Uh, they were sort of understandably scared to do anything more than that. A lot of that hesitation was due to the aforementioned Super Mario Brothers movie, which was a total box office dumpster fire. <laughs> it only made 20 million in theaters, which didn't even come close to reaching its production budget of $48 million. The whole disaster convinced Nintendo to swear off movies for a very long time, and with good reason. Only recently have they begun to warm back up to the idea, allowing Wreck-It Ralph to be kind of a test run here. Oh, thank God Pixels wasn't the first one back, or they would have shut the movie down thing forever. Yeah, it would have been gone. Kaput. Nintendo hasn't been the only party anxious about more video game movies. On the flip side of the film industry, Super Mario Brothers also became the poster child for why you can't make any video game movie at all. But now we've got dozens of video game movies slowly working themselves toward the box office, including Assassin's Creed, Metal Gear Solid, Splinter Cell, Warcraft, and Borderlands. And the list just keeps on growing. You need any femme psychos? I, just, I, I might know one, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, even the Angry Birds movie, which nobody thought was a good idea, debuted to $43 million! And it's not even in the U.S. yet, so shows what we know. We'll see what it does when it flaps its way over here, but just that number alone would give it one of the top video game movie of weekends ever, just under Tomb Raider's $47 million opening. And to be fair, Tomb Raider had Angelina Jolie's sweet sweater melons. Also, to be fair, I think our trailer for the uh, Angry Birds movie was better. It was much better. Yeah. Much uh, better. So what's changed to make video game movies the new hotness? Money, y'all. <sighs> Up until the last decade, video games have basically been a fledgling medium trying to prove they were more than just a fad. Fast forward just a little bit, and now the video game industry is by far the biggest revenue earner out of all entertainment industries, regularly eclipsing film and music. Last year, video games did just over 90 billion in revenue, compared to the film industry's paltry 88 billion. 
Uh, it definitely gives video games more power when they come to the table now, which is definitely not the same situation they were in previously. When trying to get a Halo movie made back in 2005, Microsoft famously tried to wow Hollywood execs by sending a bunch of Spartans to different studios, along with a list of demands. They actually didn't understand the way Hollywood worked at all, which led to a bunch of studios talking to each other behind their backs, making partnerships, and then undercutting Microsoft. It totally screwed them out of creative control, which killed any hopes of the movie getting made. Now companies as big as Nintendo get a little more negotiating power, which wasn't the case in the past. This is part of why so many bad video game movies got made. Often, developers that made deals with film studios lost a lot of creative control during the negotiation process. It's the same thing that made comic book movies go so touch and go for a while there. Really, Marvel got so tired of getting screwed that they gambled the entire success of the company to make their own film company. It seems that a move like this would be a long time coming for bigger game studios. It's actually odd that it's already 2016 and it's still not more regular than it is now. We've had a dozen examples of Marvel hitting it big by creating their own film production company, but very few video game companies up until this point have attempted to branch out on their own the way that Marvel did. Sony has a freaking movie studio arm for crying out loud. Why haven't you made your this thing happen yet, Sony? Come on. Because Nolan North is just a little too old to be Nathan Drake. He's still dreaming. <sighs> Although to be fair, they did sort of try it with the Ratchet and Clank movie. Show be that with a really weird strategy where the movie and the video came out and they were essentially the same thing. Yeah, Microsoft on the other hand has started delving a little more into film production with things like uh, Ford Unto Dawn and Nightfall, but mostly they seem content keeping distribution to their own ecosystem on Xbox Live. <laughs> Microsoft into their own ecosystem? No. What? Activision launching their own movie making arm at the end of last year with plans to bring Call of Duty and Skylanders content to film and TV. Plus that whole Warcraft movie, you know, coming sometime next month. Looks real good. Yeah. Travis Fimmel, you look real good. Ubisoft has a film production component as well now, which is overseeing the Assassin's Creed movie, which also Michael Fassbender, you look real good. They're also developing Watch Dogs, Rabbids, Far Cry, Splinter Cell, and Ghost Recon movies as well. I can just tell you right now, Rabbids is gonna go nuts with the kiddos. Wow, really? Calling it. Yeah, okay. Calling it. And now it seems like Nintendo will be joining the club soon. Fortunately for all of us, Oversight to Film Creative is headed up by none other than Nintendo's Software and Planning Development Department, which is led by Miyamoto. Yeah, man can do no wrong. What do you guys think of Nintendo's plans to bring out a movie in the next two to three years? Do you hope more for Mario or Zelda? Let us know in the comments. You know the best part of Mario and Zelda? That old animated slash live action Mario. Oh, can we show TV like the show? stage thing? I bet we can. I but we loved should that show. show. Yes. That was the best thing. Uh, so, for more video game movie news and Nintendo Wii U burns, like this video and subscribe to the new. Well, Nintendo is looking for a global partner for its film biz, 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 business. Kimishimi Shima. Kimishimi. Kimishimi. Hmm. For Nintendo, getting out into film production is increasing the audience of their popular game. I tried, couldn't do it.